She is the secret, of course. I mean, I don't think I wanted to be committed. Or I wanted to, you know, be a rock star and uh, live the fast life and all that stuff. And but she was just gorgeous, and she was a, my mom and my my teacher. And I taught her how to be funny. She taught me how to be righteous. <laughs> And uh, somehow we uh, we were just the perfect fit, you know. We were meant to be together, and we fight more than the average couple, I'm sure. And we have it, we have tough times just like everybody else. But you know, there's just once in a while you just can't, like they say, I can't quit you. You know, you just can't. You just look at somebody and you're like, I don't want to ever be without you or away from you. So you find a way to make it work. And for us, I think I've learned my theory on love is. You have to pick one person that you're willing to have your that you're okay with them breaking your heart, because that's the only way you can give everything. Because otherwise, if you protect your heart, then you can't be a great lover or a great uh, husband or wife, because you're still holding on to. Well, I don't want to give you everything because you might leave or you might hurt me. You got to pick one person that you're okay with with leaving and breaking your heart, you, and that way you'll give them all everything you got, and that's that makes for a better relationship. Just like any relationship or any introduction, just um, be be kind and be funny is always the most important thing. You know, I, I've seen this this I saw this great documentary about Jimi Hendrix, and a girl that he was dating would talk about how he she would be at a dinner table waiting for Jimi to show up, and all these other people would all be talking about how much they love Jimi Hendrix. They can't wait to meet him. They're all nervous and excited, and they all have these things they want to say to him. And then Jimi sits down, and the girl goes, "So how come you didn't play that song at your show instead of saying the nice things? Instead of saying what she loves, she said the complete. She said something that made him go whatever and turn you know turn his head away from her. So I think that it's it's hard because people get nervous around people they really like or respect." And uh, I think the most important thing is just be nice and be funny and don't try to challenge people because somebody will just go, I don't really want to talk to you, you're too challenging too soon. It's like a bad first date. Yes, and that normally is a good thing for the guy. <laughs> or it can be that, you know, you can get a mixed message. You know, she might, she might dress slutty, but then a guy starts to think she's slutty and then he treats her inappropriately and then he doesn't, you know, she doesn't want to give it up. But. I actually like it when girls dress a little slutty, personally. It depends on your age, obviously. If you're young, you should never have sex on the first date if you can help it, <laughs> because you don't know what you're, you know, you don't know what it's all about. You don't know the emotions that come after that. But once you get older, you know, if you're if you're a working woman or you haven't gotten any for a couple years, and you know, or you're like, it's been eight months since I've had sex, then sometimes you just got to let it go, and and you end up having a great time. And life is about having great times. You know, people say you know, um, how smart somebody is, and I go, yeah, well, they might know a lot of stuff, but to me, being able to be happy is intelligence. How can you find your way through life and have friends, have family, and be happy? To me, that's true intelligence. Oh, it's definitely okay, yeah. In fact, it's encouraged because girls don't know how scared guys are of being rejected. So if you like somebody, chances are you won't get rejected as, as much as a man will, you know. So I would tell women, yes, if you see something you like, go out and let them know. And, you know, guys, guys like to be flattered and complimented as much as a woman. We don't act like it. But if a woman comes up and goes, you're sexy, what's your name? Hey, we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one pickup line that never fails, and that's, hi, I'm Robin, what's your name? You just always say your name, it's nice to meet you, find something on the person that you like to compliment that's not her boobs or <laughs> her butt, and uh, normally that's the right place to start. I think it's great. I think that uh, it's also very scary. I think that uh, any online dating should normally come with a chaperone or a friend or something, do you know what I mean? Because one-on-one -on -one online dating is, can be very scary because there's a lot of crazies out there. But you hear about how many people found their, the love of their life and got married because they met online. I mean, they, I was reading, uh, when I was in London, I was reading OK Magazine or one of those, or Hello, I think it is. And there was a, a, a very wealthy duchess or something that met a man on Twitter and now they're married and living in a castle together. I mean, love is undefinable and it comes uh, from all places, you know. See, that's really tough. I think that everything, uh, you know, a woman has to know how to play it. My wife actually gives amazing advice on this to her girlfriends and when they listen it always works. But I remember my wife was like that when we were dating as teenagers. She would draw a line and she had to be able to say goodbye to me if I 
didn't cross that line properly or whatever, or did cross the line, whatever it was. Women have to draw lines and you have to say, you know what, I love this guy, but if he's gonna treat me like that or if he's not gonna put me first or if he's not gonna g give me a ring after seven years of dating, then I gotta go find somebody who is, you know, who's gonna make that commitment. I haven't gotten any great advice on love. I've learned it <laughs> by uh, my trials and tribulations. But um, I guess the one motto that has gotten me through my whole life is never give up, you know. So I think I'm that way with love, like let's, let's give it every last drop of effort we have before we say goodbye.